a monument of eternal fame. It is a monument in honor for soldiers who died during the Great Patriotic War. A monument situated in the center of the Park of Eternal Fame. It was opened in November 1957. So at the foot of this monument, you can see eternal fire. In the Soviet time, fire is lit only in Victory Day and holidays meaning which is victory. So it is an obelisk which 27 meters high. Motherland in Kyiv is part of the National Museum History of Ukraine during World War II. Its height 102 meters, without pedestal 62 meters. It is one of the highest monuments in the world. Inside the pedestal there is a museum. There are three floors of exhibitions. Also, there are two observation decks. One is near the legs of Motherland. Another one is in the shield of Motherland. In this height overlooks the entire city. Pedestrian bridge or Fax bridge. This bridge connects city and Tukhanov Island. There are many different cafes there you can buy shashlik or barbecue as you know it. Also, there are many beaches there you can swim, take a nap under the sun and just relax. Also, you can have an excursion on these beautiful ships. You can get a lunch there and see in the beautiful key. Friendship Arch is a construction which was built in 1988. It is in honor of uh, Russia and Ukraine friendship. Now you see that it is in reconstruction. In the evening this arch is all in the light, so it is really a beautiful place. Also there is an observation deck where you can see all the city. Andreevsky Church was built in 1744 by famous architect Rostrelli. It is only one architecture in Kyiv by this famous artist. So the temple built in Baroque style has the cross form. In the center the only dome towers and four corners decorate decorative turrets with puppy heads less. Down from it there is an Andreevsky descent connecting the top city to lower. Andreevsky descent or Andreevsky spusk in Kyiv, the trunk historical main which connected the center of the top old city with lower hem. According to some historical researches, the first way on the place of the current descent was paved on a crossing point of boundaries by two hills. Still in those days when on one of hills the Lithuanian lock was constructed. In nowadays you can see many beautiful shops here with ethnic issues. You can buy here Vishivanka, you can buy here Bulava, so it is the ethnic point of Ukraine. The Bessarabia market, the sign site in the Kyiv, 
which celebrates its century anniversary. It is difficult to present that at the beginning of last century the Khrushchev came to an end with a dump where the local bandits, nicknamed Besaraba, reigned. The city authorities cleaned the waste ground from staff and street muggers, wanted to put a monument to Khmelnytsky, but changed the mind and agreed to the market square. The main square of the country, the main square of the capital of Ukraine, Maidan Nezaleshnosti or Independence Square. It is really the most important and significant place of Kyiv and of course the most popular and visited among tourists and residents of the city. And of course a direct participant in such significant and well-known events outside Ukraine as Ukraine without Kushma in 2000, Orange Revolution in 2004, and Euromaidan in 2013. Golden Gate. What key citizens called Golden Gate actually newly rebuilt pavilion. The real Golden Gate is inside this massive construction. The pavilion reconstruction was built to keep the unique monument of defensive architecture of ancient Russia, which reached our days. Golden Gate performed not only defensive function, but also served as the main entry into the big city, its site. Here welcomed eminent guests and foreign ambassadors. Here saw princely teams and, after end of campaigns, with honors met winners. St. Sophia Cathedral, symbol of Kyiv, became the museum, so church services are held only by the schedule. It is possible to pray to God here only in strictly allowed days. The rest of the time is allowed for tourists and ordinary gapers. In Cathedral, the fullest ensemble of original mosaics in the world and frescoes of the first half of the 11th century and considerable fragments of mural of the 17th-18th centuries remained. Sofiyskaya Square, one of the central and most ancient squares of Kyiv. At Sofiyskaya Square, the bell tower of St. Sofia Cathedral and a monument to Bogdan Khmelnytsky are located. Sabor or St. Michael's Golden Dome Cathedral is rightfully one of the oldest cathedrals in Kyiv. On the territory of the monastery there is a cathedral church in honor of, of Archangel Michael in the style of Ukrainian baroque, rebuilt in the middle of the 1990s. Since 2001, the Ministry of Culture of Russia has transferred the original fragments of the Mikhailovsky Cathedral, frescoes and other objects stored in the Hermitage to the Ministry of Culture of Ukraine. In July 2008, the returned frescoes were exhibited in the monastery. Modern electric clock chimes and keyboard bell musical instrument carillon designed to perform complex melodies by a specially trained musician are installed on the bell tower of the monastery. Guys, we continue to show you not only touristic places but and romantic places. So now we are in National Botanical Garden in Kyiv. So in this park you can get acquainted with landscapes typical for a particular area by visiting the thematic corners of the park, Central Asia, Nature of Crimea, Altai and so on. Garden Pearls, Archidarium, Evine Garden and Magnolia Garden. 
The world of subtropics is waiting for visitors to the greenhouse, the pride of which is a rich collection of cacti of various shapes and sizes.